Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a quick little project share. I made some bag toppers. You guys saw me get my design team package yesterday. This heart, scalloped heart bag topper it comes with the layering top piece. The double scalloped heart with the layering top piece. And then the double bow bag topper. These are all from Andy's store, brand new in shop. And... This is what I made. They came out super cute. As you can see, it has the stitching detail around the border. It's got the little heart cutouts, um, the little handle. It's double-sided if you wanted to, you know, decorate both sides, but I never do. Um, then I just stitched some of these. Um, I really like these, and if I see them more at Target, I'm going to get them because I've already used two of them because I like them that much. Um, I stitched it before I glued it down though. I used some bows. These are from AliExpress. Trim. This is from Target last year that I still had not used. So my goal this year for my crafty projects is to use at least, at least two brand new things um, like that is still in packaging on my projects that I'm working with at night because this is just ridiculous. Like it's cute, but I just hadn't used it. So I was like, you know what? I have to open something. So I didn't use these bows yet and I hadn't used this trim yet. And then I just obviously got my design team die. Um, I hadn't used my ice cream charms. Like there's so much stuff that, you know, I want to use. So that was my goal for this year was to use two brand new items per project. It says made with love. I put some of that trim behind it. Um, I used the crepe paper, main squeeze paper. I glued some sequins on there. Got little charms. Um, these are both from AliExpress. And I think this is just so cute. You know, just pop it on your, your package or whatever. So cute. And then you can also double this, this, this die up. Like, how it's cute little hearts and I puffed it up on tape. You can cut the bag topper part off. And then you just have a really cute... Um, you know, a little scalloped heart that you could work with, you know, made with love. And of course it's a bag topper. So whatever you package up, then the other one, again, for these projects, I used my 110 pound cardstock I just got from Michael's. So I hadn't used that. I hadn't used these bows that were gifted to me in an embellishment swap. I want to say Haley made a bunch of those. I hadn't used these little, um, dangle charms, these hearts, these are from Joann's or Hobby Lobby. They're stunning little crystal like strung beads. And I'm finally using them. So I'm excited. Some sequins, some trim. The main squeeze ephemera pieces. This is my absolute favorite piece is this little pineapple. I did go ahead and stitch it. And then I just, um, I love for all like critters or animals or whatever. I love putting the um, Nouveau drops on their cheeks because I think it just adds that something. And I used this little chipboard piece from the collection. And I think this one as well. Super moi cute, right? So those are those guys. Did two of those. Then um, just with the double one, I just went ahead and I left them, like, I just puffed the hearts, the layering hearts up on foam tape. Because I figured what I'm going to do with this, with, with these, um, they can be embellished further. Cute. And I think another, you could get triple triple use out of these. Um, cut it here and here, and then it looks like you have sunglasses, like big heart sunglasses, which are absolutely adorable. Um, again, you can cut here and here, and you got your double layering heart. And when you cut here and here, you have a bag topper with a heart detail. So it could be the, just a bag topper like this. And you can, you know, you have enough room to glue that on a package. Super cute. So you can get you know, double use out of these guys. And I didn't use the die. Watch. If you notice the die is like right here, you would need to cut this out twice and then glue those two tabs together. But I didn't do that. I just grabbed my piece of, um, my piece of like paper and fold it in half. And the part that's folded, you get the die and you place it right on the edge so that the cutting piece isn't isn't gonna cut and then that's how I got you know it to cut as one continuous piece well those are those little guys I used some main squeeze and then I used um some paper from the Michaels paper pad love 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 
And then I went ahead and did the bow one. I'm loving these. This is my first time ever stitching like a bow, like this part of the bow before I assembled it. And I absolutely love the way that it looks. I cut everything out in 110, all the bases of all these bag toppers I made are, you know, sturdy 110 pound cardstock. I used a, you know, a variety of main squeeze collection and then also the Michaels hot buy paper as well. And then here's this one. Use that Michaels shimmer paper pad. Oh my God, it is so pretty. And then I did these little charmed dingles before, you know, while I was assembling it with this middle piece, I just added a jump ring and a little dangle. I love, love, love. There's one with like reds and pinks because main squeeze has a lot of pink and reds in it together. And I love that so that you can use both, you know, you don't have to just do all pink. And aren't these the cutest little things? So yeah, that is what I made bag topper wise. And I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye guys.